It's hot, but it's not steaming. Well, you probably recognise that one from our title. Uh, yeah. Obviously, excusing the pun, but there's a lot of people, would be fair to say, that are pretty peeved off with Metro Exodus or the publisher or the developer yeah. right now because, obviously, as you might be well aware, Epic Game Launcher has now got this game solely. from Steam yeah. solely. Uh, yeah, obviously, yeah. you've still got the Xbox and PS4 version, but on PC, you're a bit Ooh. stuck now yeah. probably for another year. Yeah, we've heard some dodgy stuff on there. Uh, yeah, we'll go more into detail. We'll go more into detail on that. But in the meantime, we're going to watch a trailer that's just landed. Uh, I can't remember what it exactly this trailer is called. It's quite long, isn't it? It's got some narration in there, apparently. Oh. So it'll show us something in there that hopefully we've missed already. Smash the like button if you're still hope for it, and uh, let's take a look. Metro Exodus. Whoa. <laughs> Still looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> An epic yeah, can't take away from quality. Russia that blends ferocious combat with exploration, survival, and stealth. I guess the, it's the monsters that's getting me the most. Yeah, so, someone uh, did comments that weren't post apocalyptic. Five years <laughs> Russia. In the making. I stated it's it, it, so. 4A games most ambitious work yet. <clears throat> oh. For newcomers to this incredible world, this video explores what makes Metro such a unique, compelling experience. So much detail. It's it is Look at the ice falls. devastated the earth. The few thousand survivors cling to existence beneath the ruins in game of the awesome. and tunnels of the Metro. They believed the Earth was a poisoned wasteland. Just only Metro, nothing else. But they were wrong. As Artyom, you must flee the Metro and lead a band of Spartan Rangers on an incredible continent-spanning journey across... Yes, yeah, so, oh, yeah, the train scenes and that look good, isn't it? I know it's only cut scenes. Yeah. ...with memorable characters. Now, it takes place over an entire calendar year. Through there's a lot the more faces seasons, in this, so it's interesting spring, to see the... Facial expressions. Facial expressions, yeah. And autumn. To the depths of nuclear that's, that's, actually, that's actually quite clever going through the seasons. No, I don't know if you've mentioned that before. It, it covers one year, I believe. Yeah, that's what he just said. Yeah, one calendar year. Narrative driven gameplay of the previous Metro games and introduces huge open environments that deliver a brand new experience. Oh, look at that. Even on water. Support this bold new design are combat, exploration, and survival. Metro offers thrilling and varied combat, from death oh, wow. with ferocious mutants to tactical firefights with human foes. How you approach dealing with hostiles is up to you. Metro supports both run and gun and stealth-based gameplay. Nice. Waiting until night to attack a Oh, we saw that before where he uh, shot a light bulb out on one of Oh, it's on there as well. <clears throat> silently, or stage a dawn assault. And go in, guns blazing. <laughs> uh, I have a present for you here. That's a nice ATR present. Rifle. Ring any bells? Combat is underpinned by a unique arsenal of deadly handmade weapons. Each gun is fully customizable. Yeah, we allowing the player to modify damage, range. Hand yeah, it gives weapon. it a lot more in depth on the RPG, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. more life for upgrades and use Ooh, those parts to switch your loadout on the fly. That revolver you found. Why not fix a long barrel, a shoulder stop, a, <laughs> a long barrel to the revolver? Range weapon capable of picking enemies off at a distance. This system places a huge amount of tactical variety in the player's hands. The world of Metro Exodus has been handcrafted to reward player exploration. Every location you'll find has a story to tell. The lighting is absolutely yeah. bunker, fantastic. To a tiny hamlet <coughs> To an ancient church transformed into something sinister. You won't find pointless fetch quests or busy work in Metro's vast open levels. Every objective is narrative driven and woven seamlessly into Can't the main story. Can't believe it's going to run on we give PS4. You a, map, a compass and the freedom to Amazing, think for yourselves. Just it's all with a PS4. To discover <laughs> hidden stories well, it's getting on a little bit. Now. I mean, this is like cutting edge graphics. It's just in Metro it's Exodus, like the quality survival of detail. is everything. You'll be roaming the wilderness, battling mutated beasts, hostile factions, and the deadly environment itself. Artyom must hunt for resources, 
stripping corpses <laughs> and searching interiors. <clears throat> You're right, there's a lighting through there. Yeah. To construct the gas mask filters and med kits needed to survive. Environmental so hazards what like done. anomalies and toxic Ooh. zones. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh brilliant. Camps and outposts allow you to rest and replenish your strength. Nice. And offer more advanced crafting camp. options. Dynamic day-night cycles transform the game world. Dare you venture out in the darkness where mutants are at their deadliest? Or wait Just a bit like Fallout, really, wasn't it? Meeting patrols <coughs> of enemy factions. That's the first place I see we could change weapons so much. This just. I don't know if there was any games before that. This is just Aurora, built on it, isn't it? Steam oh, that's that brilliant. I do love that. The Aurora. The Aurora will be your safe haven. Wow, look. A place to bond with distinctive characters or delve into the deep lore. As you travel across Russia, going through to the east. Your decisions will have consequences on the story. Depending on the way it's one of the first we've seen a lot of faces and they're just starting to, re to they really look good. From the combat. It's not just that, it is the combat and the exploration is really getting me. <laughs> well, yeah, you need all that done to make it a game, obviously. But, yeah. See you in the wasteland. Uh, yeah, you more wow, likely that's... will. Uh, this is right up his street. It's pretty much up mine oh, as well. But yeah. from here on in, I must say goodbye, Kevin. I will probably never see you again. <laughs> I was going to say, I know why you like this. How so much. many hours you're going to spend in this game? And before Fallout Four, he was addicted to watching trailers for it, weren't you? I remember yeah, that. Like a year of watching watching Fallout Four trailers. Little hearsays, and this is just the thing I can't get with this is why I, I know why I know why they've gone and now taken it off Steam and put it on the Epic Games it, launcher it, website. It's a money thing, and it is a money thing. I, but obviously, there was if you weren't aware, there was a bit of a hack, a security breach within uh Epic Games about a week or so ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, so now it was game. like millions of mm. accounts, and it's all mainly, I believe, due to Fortnite. But a lot of people were a bit wary, mm. they've had some other issues with Epic Games. It's certainly yeah, have uh, some said the customer service is very poor um, we can't come on to that but then was Steam so. ever brilliant when it first <clears throat> really got going I know Epic Games have been going a while but that's the thing Steam's had quite a lot of like complaints about it like controlling you by having the game on their server and everything it's a bit like this, you know, this may be, this will sort itself out, hopefully. Well, maybe, but um, the other issue I know people say is the prices seem to be different for different countries. There's no, no. consistency there with no. Epic Games. It mm. looks like, let's be honest, it could have been, and might still well yeah. be, game of the year. It's completely taken us That's by it. surprise. If you've got a console, you've not got to worry. Just, no. Well, yeah, I'll be, yeah. On, I'll be on PS4, but yeah. Yeah. anyway. If, uh, it's due to land in the next couple of weeks, so... Uh, if any more content comes, I think we want to take a look at it and there'll probably be a launch trailer. We'll probably do that here, so be sure to subscribe and follow us and uh, yeah, join us on this epic journey. Um, other than that, a big thank you for joining us and we'll see you real soon. Catch you on the flip side.